Yo, what's good guys? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to completely optimize your NVIDIA GPU for gaming. I'm going over how to install a de-bloated NVIDIA driver, apply the best NVIDIA control panel settings, and how to safely overclock. If this tutorial helped you out, I recommend checking out my paid optimizations. We have many options for all gamers and all budgets starting at only $10. All this alongside thousands of satisfied customer reviews proving we are legit. These optimizations can be found at risentweaks.com or discord.gg slash risen. But with that said, let's get into the video. Join my discord and head over to the free tweaks channel and download nvidiapack.rar. And keep in mind, you need WinRAR to open this file. So come over to winrar.com and click this blue button that says download WinRAR. And then run this exe and it'll install WinRAR but I already have it installed. Right click on the file and click extract here. And keep in mind, this is for NVIDIA only. So go to task manager, click on the performance tab at the top. And if you're on Windows 11, it's gonna be on the left side for you. And then go to your GPU and just make sure it says NVIDIA right here. And then once you extract this pack, double click on it. And the first thing we're gonna be doing is installing a de-bloated NVIDIA driver. So right click on this and click a run as administrator. And then if you're on 50 series, just install the latest driver, but I'm on 40 series and everyone else should be using 566.03. So click on manually select a driver version. And if you're on 50 series, like I said, just use the one that's all the way at the top, but we are not on 50 series. So we're going to be using 566.03. So scroll down and it'll be right here. And make sure you download the desktop driver, not the studio driver, because we only need the desktop one. And then click on next. If you want clipping with NVIDIA, you're going to need to check the shadow play box. But I recommend not checking anything and just using OBS replay buffer to clip things. So I'm going to click next. And this will install the driver with your custom modifications. And then once you get to this screen, check the first three boxes and then uncheck allow automatic reboot. And then click on disable Ansel, show expert tweaks and disable driver telemetry, disable Nvidia HD audio sleep timer, enable message signal interrupts and keep these both on default, disable HDCP and make sure at the bottom rebuild thickness Make sure at the bottom rebuild digital signature is checked and check both these boxes or else you won't be able to play easy anti-cheat games and then click on next and this will build your driver. And then once you get to this screen, just click install your screen will flash black, but that's completely normal since it's uninstalling and then reinstalling your video driver. But once that's done, Right click on this NVIDIA debloat file and click run as administrator and then click more info and run anyway. This will just double check that your driver is completely debloated and then click any key and then right click on clean temp files and hit run as administrator. Then click any key and then double click on NVIDIA profile inspector. This will change all your control panel settings automatically without you having to go in and manually do it. So right click on NVIDIA profile inspector and click run as administrator. And I'll come up with this little window and you want to take this resin free.nip and just drag it on here and click OK. And then click apply changes and you can close this out. And then we're going to download afterburner. This will just allow you to overclock your GPU. So just click 4.6.5 final right here. And then right click on it and click extract here with Renrar again. And then double click this MSI Afterburner installer. And make sure you uncheck Norton 360 for Gamer and then install it. Once you have Afterburner installed, it'll come up with a window like this. And the first thing we're going to do is come over to this magnifying glass with the C and just click it and then click on scan. And then once the scan is ended, it should give you some numbers right here or it'll say curve. Just make sure you hit the check mark at the bottom and then in the top right, click on this windows icon and then click on the lock. And then you may need to hit the check again, but I don't have to. And then you can close this out. 
And once you've done that, your NVIDIA optimization is completely done. Please also keep in mind that FPS drops are completely normal. This is because your shader cache has reset on your GPU and this will fix after a day or two of playing. If you want a complete PC optimization service for every single part of your PC, including your Windows, your CPU, your BIOS, literally everything you can think of, head over to risentweaks.com. We have thousands of vouchers and we'll give your PC a complete night and day difference from before versus after. But with that said, have a great day.